Oh, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, I'll show you today how you can test a temperature sensor if it's good or not. So let's say you got it on the car, you need to unclip it here, yeah. or you have it off the car, like I have a spare one for here, or you can have a different type. Uh, I'm sure I have one somewhere. There we go. Or you can have one like this. They're, they're different but exactly the same. Yeah. It's just the values could differ. And we can have one like this one. This is a switch. So this is a bit different. Okay. Now, first, you need a multimeter. Uh, this is not automatic. You need to set up the range. Range on uh, this kind of sensors ranges from 2000 to 4000, 5000 ohms. Uh, it could be a bit further in and out. Depends, you should check in the internet or whatever you can check um, what is the value on the on a good one. Okay, so we'll just sit this one here and it's set up to 20,000 ohms. So when it's showing 5 point something, it's 5100 for example. Now we'll grab the blue one, yeah, and we'll just stick the probes onto both sides. It doesn't matter which side is which uh, prong on the connector. Now on the in your hands, it's a lot easier. When you're in the car, uh, you got the nasty angles and stuff. So in the in the when I'm doing it now, it's a lot easier. When you have to do it on the car, it's a lot harder. There we go. This sensor now it's around one degree outside. It's four thousand six hundred ohms. This is from a Voxo Astra G MK four five something. Now can you see how deeply these are? And I'll sh I'll, I'll try to check them now. But you might need to use the connector. I don't know if I have a connector. You might need to go to the scrapyard if you want to be you know quick and easy snap it in and check it on the cables because it's easier but by the time you go to the scrapyard never mind you know what I'm getting I'm trying to say now a little bit fiddly if you have longer prongs it's easier can you see there you can okay so even in your hands it's tough Maybe, maybe we can try this one on the car, yeah. Ah, these pins are a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see the value, but it's around 5,000 ohms. If there is a value, and you have a fault, like a signal is missing or anything like that, could be the connector, because the pins inside are so small, they might be corroded on the inside. You should check the connection between the uh, connector and the uh, cooling module. Uh, these get old over time sometimes. This not, but <coughs> there is some cars when it's leaking from the valve cover, it just soaks them in oil. So the connection is not that good. Well, that's how to check a connector. Uh, now, let's see. You saw the main part. But there is some types of connectors, I think this one, they don't have a value, but it's still a coolant sensor. So it's sensing, it's like a switch, on-off switch for the for the fan. This is from the older car, 1995 uh, Voxel Oppo Astra, I think it was called different for the... So I'll stick, I'll stick the multimeter here and we'll see if we have any resistance. No, that's because it's open. When it's closing, let's say on 82 degrees Celsius, uh, yeah, nothing. When it's 82, or let's say, I think it's typed onto it, uh, 95, 95 degrees, from 100 to 95, it's closed, so it's uh, starting the fan. You can have this one fail, stuck close, and it will have the fan all the time. If you have a problem with this and it's not working, you have the fan as well because the module will think the car is very hot because it doesn't know if it's cold or hot 
and you'll have the fun as well. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope it's been helpful to you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.